What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you a special review today. Today we're going to be talking about Ithaca, a web series currently on YouTube. There's four chapters. I binged them all last night and I got my coffee here this morning so I'm ready to talk about it. So let's digest this series. Roll it. So Ithaca, the web series currently on YouTube, all four chapters are on there. I binged them last night. It's written and directed by Jay Saunders. He also acts in it. So we got the full solo going on for this web series. It's definitely a good, low budget, interesting web series that I enjoyed. Like it was, it grabbed me right from the start. And like I said, right away from the beginning, we're thrown into this world with these main characters running through a field one one's injured and you can just see they're just like hobbling through the field so we're instantly thrown into the action and this world and it's very good lighting for this scene too like i really enjoyed the natural lighting looking and it just has a really good look to it and much respect to jay saunders because he knows how to tell a story with the camera because there's very little dialogue throughout this entire web series but the camera angles and what he does with the camera really lends itself to telling the story and you as an audience member have to kind of pick up on the little clues and pay attention to certain things to just make sure you grab everything that is in the scene like there's actual things you have to pay attention to in the scene and that's what's kind of cool it's almost like finding clues within the frame of the shot so i like that it was a really good aspect and we see this main character jay saunders who's hobbling around he's the husband character and then we have Devin Saunders who plays the wife character and you can tell she's injured like she has a very bad wound on her on her chest and he's holding her and she passes away right there in her in his arms and it's just such a tense scene the way that it was filmed it's very well done it's emotional and to be able to grab us within like the first 3 or 4 minutes like that and make it that intense it's really good i enjoyed it and then we get the reveal as he backs up away from the body and he kneels down. We get the reveal as she comes back to life or gets like from the dead. So it's kind of like right away we know, oh, we're in this kind of zombie world or a post-apocalyptic kind of zombie world kind of state like set us, status or set. <laughs> My bad if I could talk. Sorry, it's early in the morning. <laughs> and then right off from there like as it takes off it just get every chapter every chapter after that we get little clues and little things about the world we're set to be in and this character the husband and jay saunders does a great job of acting and portraying a very tortured man you could definitely tell this guy's been through the ringer we have some good flashback moment where it kind of shows us little clues of what he's been through and kind of leading us up to the point of where he's at but it still has some really great like it's just scenes. The music does a really good job too. Like the score music that they set has, does a really good job of it's simple, but it does its job. And that's why I like it. Sometimes the simplicity of the score or music is the best thing because you don't want it to outshine all the stuff that's being told in the story. But like I said, there's very little dialogue in this web series. So you kind of have to pick up on every little thing in each frame or each shot that he uses with the camera. And there's so many little clues throughout every chapter, like they just get so good. And we see him go on after his wife's dead and he just has to basically survive. Like, you know, most people you would think he would give up, like it portrays him as maybe he might give up at some time, but he still continues to go on. So it's very good and engaging that way where we're following this character. And there's some really good haunting shots in this, in this series that I really liked. Like there's one, I believe it's in the third chapter when he's going up the stairwell and he reaches this door and he's trying to ax through the door. And then we kind of pan over the stairwell. You kind of see a shadow walk past and he looks. And then when you look at the stairwell, there's just a, like the woman sitting there and she's in like just very sickly, like white paley looking and like looks up and her eyes are just like, it looks like her eyes are missing. There's just black right there. Like very good, well shot scene, tense. And we get some good, like I said, music to go along with it. So it's a show that I I really liked. I was thoroughly enjoyed and entertained by it. Like I said, I watched all four last night. And it has such a good 
just watch value in terms of lighting and cinematography and things like that. I would love to hear some dialogue or some more writing. Like I would definitely want to hear his writing skills. Like I like the way he wrote the scenes and how intense it is, but I would love to see some actual dialogue and everything. Maybe some scenes where we get more, just even if he's speaking to himself or voiceover maybe, but you know, sometimes that could be considered cheesy, depends, but I think it would have lended itself a little bit, maybe just a snippet like in one of the chapters that might've been pretty cool. A lot of good like kind of zombie moments and the zombies in this are the monsters. I don't know what they're infected with, but we know there's like a quarantine and there's been an infection and a lot of people have gotten sick. So, but they run in this film. So it's kind of like that in the series so it's like a 28 days later type thing like they're not like the hobbling kind of like night of the living dead ones that we know it's more of the running intenseness fast ones so it's very aggressive there's a lot of good dream sequences that i liked there's one that i think it's in chapter four is when we see this one dream sequence that's kind of with i think it's him and his wife's in the forest holding a child and it's just uh it's kind of weird because we get like a reveal for something that doesn't really get explained in the earlier ones but it's still okay because it's it's interesting to me and I want to know about it but like I said it kind of came out of nowhere it's a weird reveal because we're kind of put into this world as like it's a zombie series but then we get another kind of reveal in the fourth chapter I don't want to like ruin it too much or anything but like I said it's just something that kind of confused me but I'm still down for the ride and would be interested and want to see more. Like I said, it's a great web series, four chapters currently on YouTube. Go watch them. I'll have a link in my description below so you guys can go check it out. And I definitely recommend for sure going to check it out. Jay Saunders directed a pretty good web series. I want to see a season two, so hopefully we can get some buzz going and get them a season two and everything. Produced by Man in the Arena Productions, and they also have a YouTube channel. You can go subscribe to them so you can stay up to date for all the information they're posting on the Ithaca web series. So definitely check them out. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Overall, in my book, the Ithaca web series is gonna get a seven out of 10. It's a very solid watch. It's got some good rewatch value. Like I said, I'll rewatch it, probably binge it when they're gonna release the season two. That way I can just stay up to date and fresh on everything. So definitely go check it out. Like I said, link in my description below. Leave a like and subscribe and stay up to date on all the videos I post on the channel. You guys have a safe and happy day. Peace out.